Hi everyone, for today's video I'm gonna check out My Dear Friend Nokotan. My Dear Friend Nokotan is a Japanese anime based on the manga of the same name written and illustrated by Hoshio Shio and being produced by Animation Studio with Studios. And in case you're wondering how did I get interested in it, well it's because of this meme. <laughs> Okay, stop, stop. This video is going to get flagged if we play any more. So, without further ado, let's check it out. So, the anime starts in a typical Japanese town, and we meet our pro tag of the series, Tarako Koshi. As she seems like your typical Japanese girl, she's a student president and representative of her class, and deemed as perfect in every way. However, she has a dark secret. <laughs> So she became a delinquent because she read too much shonen manga. That's like me saying I became a dark lord because I played too much Dark Souls. Anyways, she doesn't want anyone to know her past until she ran into this girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Well, believe it or not, it's not a suicide as the girl who's caught in the power lines is actually stuck there. And Tarako, having none of this shit, wants to fucking leave until the girl guilt trips her. So she does until she finds out that the dear girl knows about her secret. Also, this girl's antlers are glowing. Cruelly captivating words. And again, Turako not having none of this shit books it. And later that morning, at Turako's class, the teacher announces that they have a new transfer student. And it turns out to be the dear girl from earlier. Okay, not gonna lie, that was pretty funny. Anyways, this girl's name is Nokoshika Noko. And believe it or not, she sits next to Tarako, again claiming that she is a delinquent. And Tarako, not wanting her secret to be exposed, threatens her into silence. And we get this awkward moment. <laughs> hey, yo! That's fucking sus! Then after school, Taraka wants to head home and she sees Noko bleeding from her head in a storage shed. But it turns out she can heal pretty fine. Afterwards, these two end up cleaning the storage shed, only to find out that the teacher promised Noko that if she can clean the shed, she can form her own club and have Taraka as their new president. And Taraka has to put up with this shit, which includes brushing Noko. Oh, and we get this. <laughs> And that was the episode, and what do I think? Well, I'm liking it so far. The animation here is pretty good, not to mention the comedic moments are great. And I especially like how it breaks the fourth wall several times, which include stating obvious cliches. Oh, I also enjoyed the several references it made to Dark Souls. Jojo and Kamen Rider. Also, I like the chemistry between these two, as Noko is just like a vibe, while Tarako is like the straight man of the group and has to put up with Noko's shit. And not gonna lie, Noko Tan is pretty kawaii. And I mean that in a platonic way, not a Dr. Disrespect way. So, is there anything I don't like about the series? Well, this one's more of a nitpick than an actual criticism, but what's the deal with the CGI deers? Cause they stick out like one hell of a sore thumb compared to the 2D animation. But nevertheless, I did enjoy this episode and I can't wait to see the rest of the series. So stay tuned for more. So stay safe out there and goodbye.